I'm Vanessa Costa, also known as From a Bolivian. Both of my parents are from Bolivia. It's my roots, it's who I am. Anything that comes out of that is coming from a Bolivian. I guess I would call myself an artist. I kind of do multiple things, so it's not just designing. It's photography, but also doing other stuff along the way. Being a kid of Latino immigrants, my dad wanted me to be a doctor. They put me in art classes, so he saw that I was good with my hands, so I was like, yeah, but I want to be an artist. I think my mom was a little bit more supportive, and anytime there's like a success, Papa comes in and he's like, oh yeah, I'm proud of my daughter. My mom studied photography a little bit while I was maybe like seven years old. She would like take us on little adventures and like take photos of us because we were like her muses. She kind of showed me the ropes. My grandfather was a designer in Bolivia. He used to design suits for the Bolivian president. And then that was like kind of my argument. I'm like, it runs in the family. Design was kind of the thing that I always knew I was going to be doing. I started sketching without really knowing if I was doing it properly. I started to learn how to sew, put garments together in high school. I set up like a whole mood for myself when I design. It's kind of meditative to me, especially the sewing part. I do the pattern pieces from scratch here in my home. I have the fabrics that I source myself. From there, I cut the fabric and then I begin sewing. All the vintage that I've collected is all stuff I've collected on my own. I travel a lot, so I collect from everywhere. So I feel like anytime you put on a vintage piece, you kind of pick up whatever history it has. So I kind of romanticize about the people who owned it before that. I actually decided like, I'm gonna go to Bolivia. I'm gonna really appreciate and learn everything I can because when's the last time I'm ever gonna go? They're very loud and proud of their culture. So it really speaks in the clothing too. As I started to shop for fabrics and shop for clothing, I started to realize that it's like really close to like what my aesthetic is. Really bold, colorful, like a lot of prints. I just like kind of awakened just by going back at 21 years old. Like I think I needed to be older to realize. My parents love that I'm finally digging into my roots and finally appreciating because this is something that they've always wanted me to do. I managed a way to kind of mix the culture of my parents, but also that contemporary modern. But it also still appreciates the craftsmanship behind like indigenous people and the textiles and the weaving. So it's like a good balance of both. When I started taking photos of friends with my designs. I always get this thing whenever I start a photo shoot, like, I don't ever do this. Like, I never am in front of the camera, so I'm gonna be really awkward. I find that more endearing, because you kind of get like this candid, natural view of people. Halfway through the shoot, like, the model comes out of them, and they know exactly what they're doing, but it's not trained. They get comfortable with themselves, and they get comfortable with me. And I think that also comes in hand in hand with a woman working with a woman. I think a woman looks at you in a different way than like a man would. Seeking inspiration from like the unlikeliest things is the best way to do it, because you'll get something that like not other people can get. To be in this kind of world of fashion or photography, or just an artist in general, you have to have this confidence and you have to have the confidence in your art. If you're always like tiptoeing around whether people are gonna like it or not, then you'll never really get anywhere. Hanging out with like more POC kind of just reassured me that what I've been doing is the right thing. I think people see what I do and they wanna get more in touch with their roots. 